So this is the belt, and it just goes right back on. I have it. It's in great condition, and there's the magnet. Now, if you take off this belt, you take off the resistance. Um, this is the resistance. So, um, I don't use the handrails either. I have them in the garage. They do hook up right here. Um, but they get in my way. I like to move my arms and stuff. So, so uh, there you have it. The handrails would hook up there. And um, I asked Techno Gym for the piece that's supposed to come up the bottom. I never got it. The bullhorns that connected to the top were uneven. So I'm going to save everybody some time when you buy, if you think you're buying something new and you get warranty and you're paying extra and then support and whatnot, you don't. Um, I'll show you my house. I have a NordaTrack Freestrider. I went through at least two of these. Um, oh, I take all the dust covers off of everything so you can get in and you can, these things come loose. Or not really, but I mean, once in a while, especially when you move it, you're going to want to tighten screws you can't get to with the housing. You can't clean anything, and that way they want to spend millions of dollars having a tech come out who makes it worse. They, it, It's a nightmare to buy. If you think if you're buying something new, just be prepared. They all come with the same problems, and... Um, you're almost better off getting from someone who can show you the problems, how they were fixed. Take it from me. I bought, I've got a lot of equipment. I've been doing this for a while. With MS, I got to move constantly. So having all the dust covers off, and it's easier to move. And they, they're plastic. They break anyways. I have an Asuna. Uh, manual treadmill. Same thing with the Bowflex. Took off the covers. You know, if you're at the gym and you hear a knocking when you're on a machine, you're like, what is that? Well, now you know. You just go and you tighten it that way. You don't damage anything. No belts are damaged. Okay. Um, let me show you the handrails really quick for this. Like I said, I don't use them. So they just go on like that. And to be honest, a lot of times with these handrails on all treadmills, again, if you have a gym membership, you know what I'm talking about. All they are is screws and um, the, the wiggle. So if you can get used to running without handrails, I mean, you don't hold the handrails when you run. That's my best, you know, as a PE major and a physical therapy major. That's my best advice. This machine is for people that are trying to get better in rehab and not hold on. Because what happens is what you put a lot of pressure on these things. And this is a $14,000 Spirit MT. And I'll show this later. The belt goes, uh, this is electric, and it goes forward and backwards. Uh, up 15 degrees, down 10, and fast. So... <laughs> This is a great, you know, rehab machine, but even these guys wiggle because anything that you screw in over time, and I only weigh 100 pounds, these little screws can't take that much weight that much without ever bearing out, and you got to replace them and, and stuff. So um, I do have the rails, you know, on this one, but... Um, because I use it mainly for walking, and I like to turn around a lot. But um, if I was running, I would take them off so I can wave my arms. Um, it, it, I just found it's cheaper to not rely on the handrails because all screws give out. All handrails give out. Um, all screws seem to be pliable and made of China. And I have this guy. A turbo bike, or sorry, tornado bike. And I'm not really looking at selling this right now because it also goes both ways. And there's no chain on the right side. Lots of uh, bikes have the chain on the right side and your right leg is doing more work than your left. So 
this one uses the fan and it's hard work um, so I really like that um, over here I have a twister I'm not coordinated enough to twist it and hold the phone but you just these guys move and then you just this guy twists back and forth the whole plate moves back and forth like that I like to go against the wall you can step off do lunges you can hold it and do like a plank so this one I think I paid one 190 so I'm selling it for 50 my best offer uh, my MT if I saw that would be 6,000 um, I'm not I haven't come up with a price for the zero runner the only modification I think I did was uh, I took off the computer so I could hold on to these because if you hold on to those um, and you lean forward you get a really good workout if you're a triathlete and you ride an arrow you know what I'm talking about it really it, it gives you you need lots of degrees if you're trying to open up space well when I took off there was a plastic piece here because this goes up and down and what do you see a bolt and you need to be able to access that you need to be able to all access all your bolts at all times and again I, I can't stress enough these plastic pieces the minute you move them, you know, they, they break. Took off my dust cover here. Never had one problem with my motor. Keep everything spotless. Got my air purifier, but... Um, dust cover broke when they dropped it off anyways, so... I also have a Resolve reactor treadmill, which is um, a little over 19 inches wide. Um, a very long, longer belt than this. Oh, long stride. Um, it's just covered up. There's a guy that's supposed to buy it, so I'm have it ready to go, or ready to ship, and I do have pictures of it uncovered. Well, we also have a swim spa. I'm not sure if we're going to be selling that. And um, just bear with me as we go upstairs here. Um, this bike, which I put on my own seat, and it does have, if you like a more comfortable seat, I'll throw that one in for free. It's the springy, bouncy one. Okay, so I have a stepper here, and I use it to work on my calves. In the middle toe it had two plates here the wobbled plasticky crap so if you want to put something there there's a screw hole here I just covered it up um, I will have to show this one later it's a horse thing it just goes it goes up and down and Teeter bike. Go online and look up Teeter. There's a this is a really really good bike. To these move you can go, you can flip them and they go that way. I'll definitely watch the videos. This is highly highly reviewed. Um, and then Gazelle. It's the one with the pistons. And uh, I love stretching out on this one. A lot of fun workouts you can do. I think his name is Tony. You can look at him up online. And I don't remember the name of this. I think it's a stuffy graph. And again, I use them all barefoot. I can really get a good grip. And um, they go. 
forward. And um, this one, you can abduct and adduct. So, and then over here, a rower. I'm not sure I'm selling this one yet. Um, it's a free, I think it's called a free strider. You just back and forth. Well, it's got cables. I wish I had someone here I could use to demonstrate and I have a video and I have dance costumes I'll fit a size six they're all new there's one two four of them and a dry leap um, one of them does have the hands so if you're going to be a cat or a witch for Halloween um, that's a good thing Uh, so this one, 50, and this one, uh, 90, and then I have a, <laughs> currently being used as a towel rack. Uh, this is a magic circle strider, so these turn, these turn, I would say Google it because it's really hard for me to hold the phone and show it. But what you do is you hold on and those go apart and slide. And then it, it turns. So you can bring your legs apart and turn the whole thing around. You can turn just those. And then you can use them on your hands and they come with... Um, little things you can hook in those holes and hold on to if you want to use them for your hands this is a butt kicker uh, there are, these ones are actually expensive so i'm selling this one for a hundred and i i would love to keep it it's just kind of hard to move i'm selling uh the teeter for 500 and the bike here probably maybe maybe 300 is my seat I did put on special pedals that you can do barefoot but um, if you want it without the seat and pedals I would go 200 